Hey everybody, I made a previous video, in fact I made two, on these batteries. One of them here, you'll see. Go look at my videos. I'll put them, I'll put them uh, at the very end of the video. Very end. I will put those two videos. Okay, source them. And up in the corner there, I'll put that. It's about this. It's about that. It's about these. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you a straight up, simple, straight on test. And it's going to show you what's going on here. Now, we're going to go ahead and get all this loose and get her moved over there right quick. The obvious question is, is will it do it? Well, let's find out. That's a bad start. That's the second time. Turning on an inverter. I just turned on the inverter. Let's see if it reset itself. There it went again. So, we're not going to change anything. This is the second one of these batteries. All right, now we're going to get down to the brass tacks. Right now, I've got my old Dr. Prepare battery. It was a first. I've had this thing since, I guess, since they came out. And this has been maybe in the backdrop of a few videos. I've mentioned it. Um, it, it get used for our freezer. We have, you know, a DC freezer to when we go, because we live way off. We go to town. This goes with us. So I also have this one that came with a big discount because I bought a, uh, an inverter, you'll see in other videos. And they said, would you like this to go with it? And it's 135 amp hour, got a 100 amp BMS, and it's a tank. It, but it's a really good battery. I put these two together for like big outdoor stuff. And all day, all day, run all day. So no problem. The last video was about this guy. In fact, in fact, in fact, it actually was... Well, you know, kind of, kind of about this guy. So we had a huge problem with the fact that we bought this battery because it has these to go on it. It's the right size. It can stay outside underneath a big solar panel. So I've got a big, huge made in India, 200 watt solar panel. It's actually really big. It's only three bus bars old, but it still puts out 11 and a half, 12 amps on a good charger. Works like a drink. Well, it's got a canopy, and I park this intentionally because it's like, I mean, this thing's like four feet wide and five and a half feet long. So I park this under it and hook it up to charge the battery that's supposed to sit here. So if you get it overnight, it's freezing. You, you don't want it waking up in the morning trying to charge one of these. You wanted this with a self-heating function. So big chunk of cash. Two things, the size and what it claimed it could do which it can't all right and the company is like you're hurting us stop it <laughs> and i'm like i don't lie to these people so we're going to prove right in your face right now the sitting voltage of this battery after it was removed in the last video from here is sitting at that and you're like aha you tricked us you didn't charge that battery you just didn't charge it you let it drop to 10.5, and then you tried to hook it, uh, and you know, and that's why. That's why it died. See, I knew that. I just knew it. I knew it. So I got you, got you, busted. Don't buy lottery tickets because you're a loser. All right? Let me show you why. And we're going to go here, and I've got this connected. And this is basically doing the same thing that if you hooked up a solar panel to restart a battery. So you got BMS shuts a battery off. For no real reason. Other than it has a current defect. Okay. 
So it shuts it off. So you'll see this one goes back, clips on the positive. Now I've got a lead so that I don't have to try there like a moron and hold this on here. So you can read its current battery voltage right there, DC 3. Point. All right. <laughs> it's sitting there and it's weird, behaving weird. And it does this. That one did it. This one that they claim was all those things are fixed. I mean, they put the Wamu magic on it. She's like, poof, bam. Here it is. Try it out. Don't make us look bad this time. God, you should have put on your stupid hat for that question. All right. So I've got that. Now I've got a negative going over here. One over here. See it? Over to here. Well, right here. Now I want you to watch. See if I can do this. I'll move this over here real close because you want to see this in live. Now, right now, because my doctor prepare, which I use, is was dead, I'm charging it. But that's not related. It just takes a little shot of voltage. Now, watch me touch this. Watch. Boom. Now, tell me again about this being a dead battery. Well, that didn't work, did it? 13.43 sitting voltage. That's a good, I mean, that's 100%. Very good. You look at all the cords, ain't no tricks, ain't no good coming from, it ain't coming in here. There's no secret hidden batteries, okay? It's just an inverter. All right, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to also now prop this back over here. And you're going to see me turn on this inverter. I want you to listen here. Let me turn this off so you can listen. I laid my phone down in that other video, so somebody might thought, "Well, he uh, he did a trick because you know, no tricks." So now watch. I'm gonna hit the button. Let me turn that where people can see that good. Can you see that good? Can you see them both? Now watch. That's the power button. It's not a nuclear device. So are you ready? You hear that? dead. It'll recover up to about 3.6 volts and nothing else until I restart the battery. Ready? Boom. Restart the battery. Now I don't know if you want an RV. You just want to be sitting out there all day long. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Get that microwave going. Come on, all oh, hell. Come on. Let's do it again. Ready? Oh, I know what you're about to say. Because you're a hateful bunch. You're going to say, it's that inverter. That, that, it's that inverter, man, because it's made by uh, by dinosaur peed on. That's what it calls. That's who it is, man. It's that inverter. That, that's the problem, man, because it's so old. It's so old. That's it, your technology. All right? Well, have your way with it. It's that inverter. For this is the free people for Bougie. Why do Chinese people use French names? Is that French? Could be Italian. I don't know. All right. So we're just going to unbuckle her. Probably I'll toss it as far as I can away from me. In case that's like a a wine for like one of them timer devices of a torpedo or something. And uh, oh, and when we're going to get this one here, and I ain't charged this battery, but I think it's got at least 20, 25% in it. Well, hell, hold on. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll hook her up. And it's a taller battery. So I want to use someone out there, Wamu Magic, called Roll Tape. And I'm going to set it on it. <laughs> Say, look, still no tricks. And um, and we're going to hook this one up. Um, now, this Digimarker battery is a tough battery. And the reason I say that is I have just killed the hell out of it a bunch of times. I'll put a link below the video. Y'all go look below the video for this Digimarker. It is a Basin Green product. If you know anything about cattle cell battery, C-A-T-L, they... they uh, that's what's in those. So that's the reason I bought it because when I found out it was really a good quality battery um, and 135 amp. 
I mean, this thing will last all day. So if you're out camping, say you live in your van, two of these beats the living hell out of probably four of those. It, it just does. I don't know why. They, they, uh, I'll have to do a drain down test on this battery, but it pushes 150. Okay, 150 amp hour. So it's claiming 1728 watt hour. I can tell you right now, I can run 1950 all day long out of this battery. I don't know why. It's kind of like the Power Queens. They just use a lot better cells. And they underrank it so it fits in a category, you know, like on Amazon. But this, this is way better than this on the rating. So, all right, so we're going to get the, uh, the little don't blow it up tool, you know, because this is what you do. If you're firing up an inverter, make sure it's off. And you want to make sure you don't blow out capacitors or your first stage MOSFETs. That's what happens. I was hooking it up, man, and it, oh, big old arc is sparking. And that, it don't work. All right, there's a reason. So the reason is that you need to pre-charge. And a lot of inverter companies um, used to give you a little small plastic piece that had a wire on both ends. If you've ever seen it before. And it actually was just a 10 ohm resistor and a little ceramic resistor. So we're going to set that up there. Whoop, do it like that. So you can see it. The light will go dim. And the reason the light goes dim is because there's no, no flow. Okay. Now it goes dim. And then we will take this here and we will prove our point aren't we going to prove our point that what you just saw you just saw it you saw what it does and i've slapped the hell out of that battery and twice on its own it came back i couldn't get to do it again for this video but previous video go check it out I'm telling you right now i'll make sure i link it below and i'm going to link all these batteries so you want to see that one there, I don't know. I, could, I think this is probably one of the longer lasting uh, batteries, like that Uniwix, because it's multi cell. It's, it's, you know, like the, the stack. Um, maybe one. But that was that was right there bought because a guy in a uh, uh, cable TV or satellite TV, whatever truck, told me. He said, that's the one you want right there. And I, if you don't believe you're a cable guy, man, you're a fascist, okay? So we get this nice and tight. Oh, and that another one, you've seen what I had to do, but not loose. And um, so we're going to go there again. And we're going to, oh, hold on. Let's do the, let's do our little voltage things. Because, you know, everything being equal, you know, there we go. Get that one on there. And then it's a blue one for the positive. And, uh, and guys, you want to know where these cables are from? I've been using these for a long time. I thought I lost them. I finally found them. <laughs> This is what it's like moving across country. All right, so its resting voltage is right now 1335. So I'd say it's 60%. Yeah, she's probably 60% because it sets at about 13.5. You know, and takes a long time to get down to that. So I'd say 60%. So what we're going to do, we're going to fire it up. Where's the noise? Oh. strange huh well it's just crazy well that battery's that battery out there ain't doing what that another's doing huh so in the previous video you saw what this battery did exactly the same thing with this inverter and then we put this one on here and automatic i mean just boom kicked right on so what I've done is I pulled the plug loose. That goes. Fall it back. Somebody can't say, you got a hidden power plug. I don't want to hear that crap. There it is. And that's the plug that went right there. And I got it on extension cord, and then I hung it over here. I think that it's more that Wamu stuff. And then I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to plug it in to this old, cranky-ass Durafide. It's, it's old and dusty and cranky, and that is, I think, dinosaur piss. Could be my sister-in-law did that. So we're going to now take this here. See, make sure everybody understands here. Look, I'll get it back. Look, no trick wires up there in the blades. That was Kira did that. Kira's the reason this got converted, guys. Y'all better get on there and do that Kofi John Kira thing. She feels so guilty. So okay, now we got that one. We got its voltage. So I'm going to go back and forth while you hear this thing running, and we're going to pull back. That's the lock. That's my super dexterity knee. Oops. Pushed a lot. Pull back. Did 
didn't even sag to 12.8. So I'd say 60. She's a 60%. This battery here will run all the way down, all the way down to 10.65 before it shuts off. So make sure you get an inverter that don't do that. This one will shut off at literally when it hits 10.9, just under 11, this one will shut off. So good deal. They work good. This one do the same thing. This one here hits, I think, 11.1. Shuts off, so it leaves these batteries at a good rate. All right, you always want to stay 20%. If you do take these down to 100%, you bought the Kool Aid and you drank it. Don't do it, it'll shorten its life drastically. Um, charge them to 90, take them to 20. Bring them to 90, take them to 20. They're still going to be 30% more efficient than lead acid. And now they're finally got the BMS is right inside of them, and they finally have the quality that they didn't have when people were just shoving them down, battle board down your throat, you know, $900,000, but you know, they, this beats a battle board. These, these do. Okay. So all you people that spent $10,000, put from battle boards in your RV, <laughs> your RV was worth like eight grand. <laughs> Don't you feel bad now? You could have bought 12 of these. Oh yeah. And all the solar and the controllers and your neighbor's, pick up and it's been ahead so all right now so we're proving this point here right we've done this we've succeeded at it it works it's not a joke watch this you see this this battery going through this inverter through this charger into this doctor prepare don't do this at home and make sure small children have been put to bed but watch I want you to see this Wamu magic. Where did I come up with that word? I had a witch doctor aunt, so I learned things. <sighs> the Wamu stuff. Look at this. 34 amps. <sighs> Into my doctor prepare. So I'm stealing from the Digimarker and I'm feeding the doctor. Hmm. Isn't that like when you go to the clinic? I'm stealing from my wallet and I'm feeding the doctor. <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys, you've seen it. Bouge, RV, Bouge, bo Booger, whatever. Your crap don't work. Accept it. Accept it. I've done seen 50 places online. People complain about the same stuff. Your engineering is beautiful. You should have paid the guys that put it together as much money as you ate egg noodles with last night, and they might have done the right job. But this vicious circle of beauty. That Dr. Prepare, freaking excellent. That Digi Marker, freaking excellent. Twice. They pulled this crap on me twice. Now, now you know. Now you know. All right, guys, y'all be good. Red Odo Workhorse Battery Man. You see this baby? You see that baby? That's what my daughter, stepdaughter's got on her RV. And them damn things can't be killed. That's what I use in my personal crap. My personal crap. That and the, I used to use a little power queen. Good battery. Yeah, to hell with you. All right, y'all guys be good? Check out the video into the, check them out. Y'all be good.